Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming something a little bit different and I'm really excited for this. So we are going to a black tie wedding and I've never really been to a black tie wedding. So I went through the process of figuring out all these different places that I could get dresses from and trying to find the right dress. We had to get Clayton a suit, there's just a lot that goes into this so I figured I would make a video about it in case any of you are in the same situation and looking for some guidance so in today's video I'm gonna be trying on all of these dresses that I picked up for black tie candidates we can just see how they fit I'll share where I got them all from and I also did a little tutorial in this video of this hair and makeup so a couple of weeks back if you're a vlog watcher I'm sure you saw that we went to a pretty fancy engagement party for our friends Samira and Aiden I wore my hair and makeup like this you guys really liked it and I decided I would do a little tutorial on how I did this because I guess you could say this would be my go-to look for like a black tie occasion now since that was kind of my first one I will share at the end of this video exactly how I got this hair and makeup if you're also interested in that and I'll also be showing Clayton's outfit as my other half for black tie occasions so that's everything that's going to be in this video I hope you guys enjoy it and if you have any other requests as always you can put them in the description box and let's get to it starting off with a bang we have this gown so I think every dress in this video I either ordered from Nordstrom or Revolve because they both are really fast with shipping they have easy returns and I just really wanted to nail the dress but also have flexibility to try things on because I just feel like it's a lot of pressure in this moment and I didn't want something that I couldn't return or would be like a nightmare to return so that's kind of why I went with those two retailers so this one is from Nordstrom and I ordered this in a size 2 as you can see it is a super sparkly sequin moment I feel like this is great because sequins definitely do feel more fancy and dressed up to me than a normal dress so I feel like it definitely fits the bill for making me feel like luxurious and and dressed up. I also love that it has a slit, a nice high beautiful slit and it kind of goes with like the old Hollywood glam feel. It's maybe like a little more modern in the way that it's cut and the material used. It's kind of like a rainbow pastel sequin dress. So it's got just like a simple neckline, simple straps. Here's the back. It's really pretty. It's kind of like an understated simple cut because obviously the material is so much. So I think it's really nice. The only thing I worry about is sometimes the sequins feel like slightly tacky to me and I can't tell if it is like a chic glam moment or if it's like a little tacky. So I like this one. I think that it would photograph so well, which is also something to keep in mind because if you're going to this beautiful wedding, especially like destination, black tie, I think you're gonna take a ton of pictures. So I think this would look gorgeous in photos and I love it for that reason. Sequins are also not the most comfortable thing. They're like a little bit itchy, but I think that this is a good option. I am, I'm considering this one. And then I just paired it with a black heel and a sparkly earring, which is probably not necessary, but I'm just, I'm going all out. I really, really, really love this one. I think it is very unique and it also just kind of feels like me. I think that this suits my personal style, maybe the best out of all of these. I feel like it's a little bit edgy. I love that it has this cutout. I love that it's asymmetrical. Again, a nice tall slit, I think is just like, feels so sexy and so glam and I love that. I also like this detail of the belt because it like cinches you and I feel like it kind of makes the dress feel a little more tailored to you because you can really make sure that it's flattering right around your waist and then it's this beautiful like dark green kind of iridescent material and I ordered this one off of Revolve I got it in a size extra small and I just really really love it it's very comfortable as well it flows nicely it has this like cute detail on the side. I'd probably wear just like kind of plain black heels with this again. The wedding that we are going to for this is in Italy and I feel like this feels a little Italian to me. So I really like this one. A couple of things that I worry about is that it might not photograph as well. I mean, it does feel like very fancy and I feel like it's gonna look beautiful and it does have a little bit of sheen to it. I just worry like the color won't photogra photograph as well and it might not be as like timeless. 
of a color because I really hope that these photos are things that we like appreciate for a long time just because it's kind of like how many times you're gonna go to a black tie wedding in Italy I worry a little bit about this one but like the cut and everything this is probably my favorite one I think that it is just unique and gorgeous so I do love her ah I love this one too okay so this one has been one of my favorites ever since they came in the mail obviously it's just an amazing moment I feel a bit like Cinderella in this it is the prettiest like pale blue color this is definitely more like feminine and fairy tale than I would normally go for but in a situation like this I do enjoy maybe like tapping into things that I'm not as prone to doing just because it's like a fitting moment to do it and I like to push myself outside of my comfort zone with fashion and anything else anyways so I love this for that reason it's very like elegant and chic I feel like it is maybe like the most modest of the dresses I don't know there's still like a lot of cleavage going on and then the back is like open with a lace-up detail but it doesn't have a slit or anything and it just seems like a little more sweet to me I would probably wear my hair up with this dress because the shoulders the sleeves are so pretty and they're kind of loud but I didn't want to like redo my hair for right now so this is a good option it does have kind of like a like fluffy almost toolish feel to it so obviously I'm going to show the bride all of these outfits whatever one I think I'm gonna wear I'm gonna make sure she's okay with you never want to like step on the bride's toes or updo her so obviously I'm checking my bases for that so don't worry if she's not down with it I would never wear it and if she likes it she feels like it fits her venue her vibe and it would look nice then if I want to wear it we're in the clear so just a little tip obviously check with the bride I would say for special occasions like this she's pretty okay this one is one of my favorites too this is also in a size 2 I got it from Nordstrom's I forgot to Nordstrom I forgot to mention this one was in a size 2 as well so this is another sequin one what I like better about this sequin one than the other is that they're smaller sequins which feels a little classier to me this one feels like more old Hollywood it kind of has this like off-the-shoulder cut to it which is very pretty it feels elegant it is more conservative too I feel like very covered which is nice it does have another nice high slit which you guys already know I really like for this occasion so I think that this is a really good option it also feels like appropriate for an Italian wedding I feel like it's gonna fit with like the vibe and the scenery and everything which is great and I think this look goes really well with the hair and these earrings too that's a nice option the one thing is I don't have like a ton of mobility in this dress because of this cut like if I hug people, I'll have to hug them like this, which is a little weird, but it's really pretty. And I think it would photograph well with the sequins, but it's a little more understated than the silvery ones. So this is a good option. I'm going to have the hardest time picking these. You guys should vote in the comments definitely which one is your favorite because this is going to be really hard for me to choose. Okay, I lost my man model for the rest of this video. He wanted to get out of the tux and work on something in the garage, so just imagine okay this one is from revolve and it's freaking stunning this one is also very unique I love this color just like a nice gold it feels very goddessy to me which also feels Italian like European and this one I don't know I can't decide it feels a little more casual or not it's definitely more of like a sleek silhouette I like that it's unique it's actually two pieces so it's a skirt and then this corset laces up in the back so you can make it as tight as you need I actually didn't lace it all the way down so don't judge me and then the straps you can also tie as tight as you need one thing that I love about this option is this these are separate so you can actually wear them as separate especially this top I would definitely wear again with just like jeans so I love kind of like the use that you can get out of this one for that reason yeah and it's really pretty I just worry a little bit that it feels like almost too casual in a way for me but it's probably not at all I'm probably just overthinking it so she is a good option it's kind of got like a I don't know okay I don't know like what you do with heels like how you walk in these things and like not step all over them but um, it's kind of got like this mermaidy feel to it which is fun all right this one is gorgeous I ordered this from Nordstrom it is another sequin option it's a little bit more of like a classic like smaller sequin again it's kind of like a gold and silver color I feel like which is really nice it's 
really like chic and classy I feel but it feels a little too vanilla for me like it's just it's kind of plain I love the high slit I love that it's one shoulder but it's just not enough for me to really feel like I'm optimizing the moment so I like this one I think it's gorgeous I think it's probably perfect for so many people who like things a little bit more simple I just kind of like more eccentric things so for me it just feels a little too plain but I still appreciate it I think it's pretty and I got it in a size 2 okay this one I also got from Nordstrom it has a little bit of like beading detail on it parts of this dress I want to love but I kind of hate this dress to be completely honest <sighs> I don't know it's really heavy and it feels kind of like a weighted blanket which I like like I like the way that it feels as an experience I like the colors I feel like it could be it's a flattering silhouette kind of but I feel a bit like a mother of the bride or something in this dress I feel like it's making me feel old -er than I am I should say like old's not a negative word or anything but I just it's just not making me feel my best so it has this like little mesh part right here the little red tag thing is kind of in the way so you can't really tell I don't know I don't know what's going on with this dress and me but we're just like not really meant to be so that's kind of the tea on this one <laughs> this one I will say I thought I was going to dislike it a lot more on the hanger than I do on I feel like it's a little bit plain again the larger sequins are a little tacky feeling to me still I wish they were like the smaller kind I do appreciate how much these bigger ones shine but I just worry that it kind of like cheapens the look a little bit or it's just like not exactly the vibe I'm going for for this occasion probably my biggest grievance with this dress is the color is not my favorite it's kind of like a it's just like a purple I guess almost like a reddish almost like a little burgundy tint purple the silhouette is really pretty I feel like it's flattering but it just seems kind of plain from the front it does cinch in the back and the back is actually so pretty I love the back and I like that it's kind of tailored to you because you can like tie it exactly how you need it but it just doesn't feel like it's the one for this so I appreciate this dress I think it's pretty I also got this in a size 2 it has like a little train looks like yeah so those are all the dresses I got and let me know which one is your guys' favorites. I'll link them down below. I forgot to mention, I think in this gold dress, I wore it too as well. I'll link everything for you guys. Vote for your favorites. This was fun. Let me know if you want to see maybe like a spring or summer edition of this. We will be going to another fancy wedding by then. That's it. So next up will be the tutorial for this hair and makeup. And thanks for watching. Okay, starting out with this primer and my favorite misguided foundation. It's full coverage, it looks like skin, and it's just been my go-to ever since I tried it. So I'm just buffing that all over the skin with one of my favorite foundation brushes, and then I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape, which is the best concealer ever, and I'm just gonna blend all of that out with a beauty blender. This is pretty much my normal protocol just vibing along with my concealer and then I'm going to go in and set with the Laura Mercier translucent powder which is one of my all-time favorites this is just gonna keep everything nice and matte because I am an oily girl and then I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and this Mac I think it's an, a 35 brush and I'm just gonna contour my cheekbones my forehead my jawline and then, as always, I'm going to go in with this little brush from, I forget the brand, um, but it's my contour brush, and I'm going to contour my bottom lip, and then also my nose. I'm using the same palette for this, and then I'm just going to use the fluffier side of the brush to blend out, and then just tap over with a beauty blender. Next, I'm going in with some bronzer. Sorry, this is so out of focus. I did not notice. Um, but you still get the gist and then I'm going in with some of that same translucent powder and just kind of baking since this is a glam look and then I'm using the same Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, contour palette and just kind of winging out a brown shadow I'm gonna go ahead and take off that baking powder now dust it off the sides of my nose and then I'm gonna take this Tarte palette and I'm just going to kind of smoke out a dark liner on my waterline and out into the wing and then I'm just gonna blend that in 
on the edges of the upper lid as well and I'm just using these nice warm brown tones those are kind of my go-to and they're perfect if you have blue eyes because they're very complimentary um, but also really pretty on every other color eye too and then I'm just going in with some blush this is the Laura Geller blush palette thing I have it's a highlighter as well and it just creates a really pretty pink glowy look then I'm going to put on mascara and curl my lashes. I'm using the hourglass one here, I believe. And then we are going to fill in the brows. I always use the Benefit Cabrow, but they are discontinuing it. So I'm kind of finding my way through that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to carve out my brows. I fill them in pretty dark. And then at the front of the brow, I'm going to do it a little more feathery. Um, but while I let my brows kind of set, I'll do my lips and also put on my lashes. So I'm just going to kind of overline my lips in the center, make them kind of more round. And then on the sides, I stay kind of true to my actual lip line. So I'm just going to blot this lipstick in. I'm going to do another one over top. And I just love to kind of tap the lipstick in instead of swipe it. Putting on my other lash here now and then I'm doing a couple of freckles. It doesn't really seem appropriate for black tie, but this is what I did the other day at the party, so I'm doing it here too. Some setting spray, this is the hourglass one, and we're pretty much done. Then I'm gonna move on to hair, so I'm just brushing my hair out. I love working with dirty two or three day hair, or even longer. Um, and then I'm going to take my Eva NYC curling iron, which is my absolute favorite curling iron of all time. I use it every single week. And normally what I do is curl my hair forwards and backwards, so alternating directions. But for this look, it's kind of more of an old Hollywood look. Oh, we need a water break. Um, so I'm just doing it all away from my face and everything in one direction. So I'm not alternating. And this is just going to create a nice cohesive waved look and I feel it's more elegant it's not as natural or undone looking as when you alternate directions but it gives more of that glam feel that we're going for and then I'm just gonna brush those curls out because I don't want them to be too um, kind of stiff I guess and then I am going to part my hair kind of deep on one side, again going with that Hollywood glam feel. And I am just going to continue brushing it out. And then I'll take this little clip, a setting clip, and I'm going to kind of hold my top part of my bangs up so that they get some nice volume. And I'll just let this sit for a little while. I'm going to spritz some hairspray. This is a shine hairspray, so it's going to give us a really glam look. And then on the other side, without the bangs, I am just going to push my hair down. My sideburns that have been growing out for a while are having, having a moment with me, so we're going to try to get those behind the ear. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the whey pomade. I'm going to continue to just slick down that side of my hair so it looks really clean and gives a nice glam look. 